and welcome to Skynet Terminator Model 3000. The T-3000 is an extremely advanced Terminator model series produced by Skynet in 2029, during the periods shortly before the final battle. Unlike the previous lines of infiltrators created by Skynet, units of the T-3000 were humans who had been transformed through exposure to a type of machine phased matter. This phased matter would completely rewrite the victim's genetic coding, forcing their body mass to be transformed on a molecular level into billions of nanomachines. All of the humans exposed to the phased matter were driven insane during the experimental stage and died, which makes John Connor the only known successful example. It was stated that the procedure is irreversible and that a human transformed into a T-3000 cannot be cured or saved. The machine phase matter that forms the T-3000's chassis is held together by a magnetic field that could be further manipulated into developing stabbing weapons and granting the individual regeneration and impersonation abilities equivalent to those of the series with mimetic polyalloy. It can absorb incoming fire and explosive damage better than the previous series and reconstitutes quicker than even a T-1000 could. However, it lacks the ability to split a part of itself to serve in a role as tracking device or independent subunit. The unit could nearly dispel into a mist by weakening its magnetic connections momentarily and then reassemble itself elsewhere at frightening speeds even to the point of appearing to phase through solid objects. This gives the T-3000 enhanced hand-to-hand -hand combat and infiltration abilities compared to other models. The T-3000 can also use its magnetic field to maneuver along metal surfaces, such as walking up a vertical surface. It is also capable of learning via touch, such as determining security codes while impaling the user of those codes, much like a T-1000. In addition, like a T-1000, a T-3000 is immune to electrocution, as it is entirely formed by nanites of its phase matter. Combat Abilities In full combat mode, a T-3000 displays superior physical strength to a T-800, being strong enough to fully lift a T-800 one-handed and throw it a significant distance without requiring momentum or leverage. The T-3000 is also incredibly fast, capable of phasing through attacks from the T-800 and delivering eight rapid punches in a single second. It possesses extreme invulnerability to physical attacks, making it invulnerable to bullets and explosives. It can be penetrated by something as powerful as another Terminator, but its cells immediately reassemble afterwards and it regains its mobility in half the time, regardless of the injury. Given the T-3000 is built by roboticization of a human, it retains a human base form. It can temporarily break out into a more amorphous state, but given a strong magnetic bond ensures that the robotic cells retain together. They always return to the shape of a human body. Underneath the skin, the cells remain in an accurate representation of a muscular system albeit in a silvery color. The T-3000 has the ability to significantly enlarge its muscle mass when engaged in combat. Human aspects, the natural abilities of the host, were enhanced by the exposure to the nanomatter. Due to its origins as a human, the T-3000 possesses a full grasp of human emotions and is able to show convincingly emotional responses. Whether or not the human can still actually feel them as though it were a human has not been revealed. In addition, a T-3000 retains all of his, her, human memories prior to its transformation. Weaknesses Overcurrent can temporarily disable but not destroy a T-3000. Extreme magnetic sources such as an MRI machine or other strong magnetic device is able to disrupt a T-3000's own magnetic field that holds itself together dispelling the machine phase matter. However, even such measures merely disable it temporarily. The magnetic field from the time displacement equipment has been shown to be capable of completely destroying a T-3000, as the field tears apart anything inorganic after the T-3000's lost its outer sheath. It is also stated that the following explosion shattered a T-3000's phase matter beyond reconstitution. In addition, during the final battle, the Guardian was able to damage the T-3000 with repeated strikes with magnetic gauntlets and even damaged it from a laser post that destroys machine phase matter. As a result, the T-3000 could not resume the human outer sheath as there was not significant machine phase matter to be used as its outer sheath. Thank you for watching Skynet Terminator Model T-3000. Special thanks to Terminator Wiki for all information you heard today. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.